You know, a beautiful weekend, but there's still ice on some of the lakes. Lake yeah. Minnetonka, it could be setting a record for the latest ice out, a record that was set in the 1850s or 1857. something like that. Insane. But look at this, some Minnesotans just don't care. No, no, ice <laughs> or not, this woman cannot be stopped. Wake surfing. I'm told that's called wake surfing, not boarding. This video was sent to us on Facebook. She's tough. Yep, she's got no, dodging man. ice chunks. This morning wow. she's now in the hospital with pneumonia, <laughs> but, but it looked good yesterday. She doesn't have a wetsuit on. Oh, yeah, that's frigid. Oh. More <laughs> hardcore. Yeah, hardcore. I'd say she wasn't planning to wipe out. Look at it that way. Yeah, that's you don't want to fall going that fast on a patch of slush or ice. No. Ouch. <laughs> Road rash. But it's going to be warm. You thinking I, uh, this weekend? I, yeah, I think so. I think it'll be close, but I think the record will stand. We might tie it tomorrow. Okay. But uh, yeah, you go back to 1857. They only kept start keeping records 1855. Minnesota didn't become a state until 1858. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, so mind it's, blowing. It's been a while. 54 this morning. Sunshine all day long, and we're going to have some wind today. The wind is the real critical part at this point. We got the warm temperatures of the sunshine. That wind will churn over that ice and really melt it rapidly and kind of push it away. So hopefully, hopefully by the end of tomorrow anyway. Mid-70s today, close to 80 for some. Wow, that looks amazing. Thank you, Sven. Our top story this morning, reaction. From the people who are close to the Reese family, they are describing David Reese, who was killed by his wife, the woman now called the killer grandma. Now, this is the first time we're hearing from her family. Dylan Wollenhouse joins us now with what we're learning about the accused killer. And Dylan, this is so interesting to hear from her son. Yeah, the story gained national attention and a lot of people that don't know her. Uh, Lois Reese is the woman who's accused of two murders and running halfway across the country from authorities. Her family, though, say that they are in shock this morning and just can't believe that the mother and sister that they know could be accused of killing two people. Charged with murder and struggling with demons in disguise of a gambling addiction, the son of Lois Reese and the best friend of her late husband sharing new details. My whole family is in shock. Behind the headlines and the sensational details. The so-called killer granny. There's a mother, a sister, and a woman that was a good person, says her son Braden, despite the crime she's accused of now. She was a caring always put herself second and us kids first. Reese, now formally charged in Florida, accused of befriending a woman and killing her to steal her identity. That after police say she went on the run after killing her husband, Dave, in Blooming Prairie, Minnesota. The races, you couldn't get a better group. Her family saying a gambling habit caused her to lose a half a million dollar inheritance a few years ago, a habit they say only spiraled out of control to bring us to today. Now, Reese, who's charged uh, in Florida, she'll face those charges there and then later charges perhaps in Minnesota. But we talk about this story and what gets lost, I think, is mm -hmm. Pamela Hutchinson, the woman in Florida, her family, they're now without her, and the family of Lois Reese, who you have, you know, cousins, uncles, sons, now right. having to watch their mom go through this process because they are so much in shock. Charged with murdering yeah. their father, someone else that they loved, right. too. So yeah. really difficult situation. Thank you, Dylan. Yep. Chris? In news headlines this morning, police are releasing more information about the four people found dead in a Grand Forks, North Dakota home. A 35-year-old woman and her three children, who range in age from 6 to 14 years old, all died from gunshot wounds. Police are not looking for any suspects. A newly released NTSB report reveals that two Southwest Airlines pilots struggled to land a jet after a deadly engine blowout. The pilots reported a sudden change in pressure and a gray puff of smoke. They put on their oxygen masks while attempting a difficult landing. Landing, they made the quick decision to land in Philadelphia after learning a passenger was hurt. That passenger later died. A Howard Lake man has been charged with attempted murder for a drive-by shooting in Delano. According to a criminal complaint, 34-year-old Joshua Moist followed a vehicle to a school bus parking lot, thinking the driver was responsible for his cousin's overdose. Authorities say Moist fired at the vehicle, hitting the vehicle and two school buses in the lot. No one was seriously injured. All right, Chris, thank you. Time now for our digital dive. And it feels like summer, but uh, there's still some remnants of winter on Lake Minnetonka. Check it out. Still a lot of ice to melt. Can we do it? The latest ice out was in 1857 on May 5th. We're one day shy. We might tie it. We might break that record. We want to know what you think. But of course, a lot of people thought it would be uh, late April, early May. Donald here, Donald Hall, telling us July 4th. I hope not, Don.
Let's hope you were way off on that one. So again, we want to hear what you think with the ice out. Do you think we're going to break the record? Let's take a look at our results right now. We've been asking you on our Care Living poll all morning long. 71% saying yes, we will break it. <laughs> <laughs> so then you think uh, we might tie it? What do you think? I think we'll tie it or, or, or leave it be. Yeah, okay. I think it'll go today or tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see though. It's all about the wind. The wind is going to be picking up today. Uh, we are going to be close to 80 degrees this afternoon too. That'll help as well, but the wind is the real critical component, kind of moving that slush around. It's very weak ice at this point. Plenty of sunshine today and uh, we'll be close to 80 again tomorrow too. Awesome. Thank you, Sven. In other news now, I'm starting to think that maybe we should all just assume all of our data is compromised all of the time because Twitter is now the latest place where your information isn't safe. The company is urging all their users to change their passwords because they say a glitch caused the passwords to be stored in their systems as readable instead of scrambled. So they insist nothing was stolen, but seriously? I can't remember another password. We have to keep changing them. So now let's talk about the scandal surrounding the Redskins cheerleaders. You know, as if the Redskins team name controversy wasn't enough. Now several former cheerleaders say they felt like the organization pimped them out. That's their words, allegedly forcing them to pose topless in front of male fans and then forcing them to escort financial backers to a nightclub while overseas. So the team says it's concerned. Uh, yeah, I would think so. OK, I'm a big football fan. I love the NFL, but this one gets me mad. Get your act together, NFL, when it comes to how you treat women. Yeah. You can hear from, yes, Alicia's chiming in, yes. You can hear from two of those Redskins cheerleaders coming up today at 7. And while we're talking about the NFL, quarterback salaries just got even more insane. The Vikings' Kirk Cousins was the highest paid QB for a hot minute with his $84 million guaranteed, guaranteed contract. Matt Ryan says, hey, hold my beer. He just signed five years at 150 million wow. with the Falcons. 150 million dollars. Aaron Rodgers, he still hasn't even signed yet. So at this rate, the Packers are pretty much just going to have to sign over the entire state of Wisconsin to him. Only Whoa. way when salaries are getting this high that you can compensate Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Give him a lot state. of money. This, ju this is just in Aaron Rodgers holding out for a wedge of cheese. So. <laughs> well, which kind? He doesn't even Cold. like cheese. <laughs> Fun fact about Aaron Rodgers, he doesn't eat cheese. No, oh. he's like veganish. But he now owns yeah. part of the Milwaukee Bucks. Mm -hmm. like, so he's we already a lot of Aaron yeah. Rodgers knowledge. We <laughs> do. Like, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, on a more serious note, meanwhile, teachers across the country are trying to get any increase in pay. Oh. That's kind of ridiculous. You're right, you're right, way about different about different $150 turn. million dollars to throw a ball? <laughs> different Seriously. organization. Different organization. Uh, which Maybe one's more valuable? What we I don't value, know. Though, right? I don't know. I think it's a good point, Sven. I'm kind of with you, you on that. I don't know. All right. Well, coming up, we have been talking about <laughs> Sleep Week all week on Sunrise. We've tried a lot of different things. We're going to see how they got, how they went. Yeah, we'll definitely let you know about that. Plus. The track is open for training right now at Canterbury Park in Shakopee. The season starts today, but the big event, of course, the Kentucky Derby tomorrow coming up. We're going to tell you what's happening here this weekend and throughout the season. Stick with us.